Indian Union budget 22-23 from an indirect tax perspective. The indirect tax collections has been buoyant during 21-22. If you look at the numbers, the revised estimate for 21-22 is 12.7 trillion as against the budget estimate of 11.1 trillion. For next year, 22-23, the budget estimate is 13.4 trillion. When it comes to legislations, first the GST. GST is proposed to be amended to provide now in the law itself about the communication of detail of inward supplies and details of input tax credit to the recipient for the recipient to take the input tax credit. GST law is also proposed to be amended to do away with the concept of claim of ITC on provisional basis and now availing the input tax credit on self-assessment basis that is self-assessed ITC. GST law proposes to empower the central government to prescribe restrictions for utilizing the amount of ITC and also to prescribe the maximum proportion of output tax liability that can be discharged using the ITC. Interest related provisions are being amended retrospectively with effect from July 1, 2017 to now provide that interest would be applicable on ITC wrongly availed and utilized instead of only being on ITC wrongly availed. The rate of interest will be 18% and not 24% as it was earlier. When it comes to customs duties, certain entries in customs is harmonized to create new tariff line items. Certain, for certain tariff items, the custom duty rates are revised. Few of them will be effective from tomorrow. Few of them will be effective from May 1, 2022. It is also proposed to phase out the concessional custom duty rates in respect of capital goods and project import gradually applying the moderate rate of 7.5% instead of the current 5%. This is to make it conducive to the growth of domestic industry and make in India. One important legal change is in respect of advanced rulings, they shall remain valid only for a period of three years now or till there is a change in law or facts whichever is earlier. Coming to central excise, unblended fuel will attract an additional differential duty of excise duty of 2 rupees per liter. This will be effective from October 1, 2022. In respect of SEZ, it is also announced that SEZ Act will be replaced with a new legislation. Along with that, the reforms in custom duty administration will be done for SEZs. This reform is proposed to be implemented from September 30, 2022. These are some of the key changes from India budget. Thank you.